Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TechMart. Today I'll show you how we can omit provider organization. Before to go in detail, I'll tell you what does mean of provider organization. Uh, first I'll tell you how when we we'll call any uh, API or the operation of any API, how we uh, used to build a complete URL. So let me show you that one. First, we define the protocol, okay, HTTP or HTTPS, okay, let's, sorry. Est uh, pro protocol name, protocol could be HTTP or HTTPS, okay, here, the data power, DNS name, then the provider organization name then uh, catalog name then the api api base path then operation operation name or you can say operation path okay So uh, here I, I told you the provider organization name. So whenever you call any service operation, then in that case you have to mention the complete. I'll show you like here in my case. Just one moment. Okay. Like I'll call, call an OAuth API. Okay. Same. So here I'll get a token. So this is my complete URL. I'll take this one and I'll paste here. Okay. So in my case, this is my DNS name, data power DNS name. Okay. This is provider organization and this is my catalog name. And uh, this is OAuth. Let me take another thing. Okay. I have one more API. This welcome. Okay. okay, so here this is the base path of your API and this is your operation name. Okay, uh, if you are calling a simple API, in that case, this is my data power DNS name, this is provider organization, this is catalog name. Okay, in, in my case, I am having no base path and the operation name is welcome okay so if you want to omit this one okay want to make the url like that okay like that okay if you want to make a url like that so uh, what all uh, changes we need to make in our api connect i'll show you that one um, why we need to change the why we need to omit the or provider organization name maybe uh, in some use case, you don't want to mention the provider organization name or you want to make your URL, uh, actual URL very small, okay? So in that case, you can omit the provider organization name and you can omit the catalog name also. Uh, I'll try to make uh, another API, another video, sorry, in that I'll try to omit uh, the uh, catalog name also or try to cover in this video if uh, I'll get time so I'll cover I'll remove this uh, catalog name also okay so let's go to practical okay here let me log in Before to that, I'll show you how it looks in data power. We'll go to a pay connect domain. Here we'll go API gateway. Then here in the 
pay collection we will go to this collection okay here we will able to see the URI okay so here URI is the lab provider organization name and the catalog name okay so and they pay connect so for that what we'll do we'll go to uh, our catalog okay this catalog then we have to go to catalog setting here then we have to go to a pay endpoint here i think if we'll make this one at default okay let me try so that will try to omit the catalog name also okay default one and let me check where we can there is a setting let me check that one the pain point okay so uh, for that uh, to omit the provider, provider organization what we need to do when it a pay endpoint we'll use this one okay uh, right now the endpoint is like that okay so we'll edit here so as we are changing the behavior so we'll use the vanity api endpoint okay so configure how vanity endpoints are displayed in the developer portal okay and uh, whenever we will call the actual api then we'll uh, omit the provider organization name okay so we'll click here v5 then display vanity endpoint here we need to uh, here this mention these endpoint are used to all the apis in the catalog okay so it will the API uh, calling error will change for all the API that's belong to it, that catalog. Okay, so here we have to mention the HTTP. Okay, let me check what is the URI. Let's see this one. So we'll use this one. then we'll choose this one okay to omit the provider org okay and we'll save it okay when you'll save it you'll be able to see uh, the url here okay and we'll go to API, API uh, data power domain okay we'll go to this API collection okay here now we can see uh, the prefix is this one okay so we don't need to uh, mention the uh, the provider organization name okay so okay so let's cancel it okay let's try to test the API Okay, let's remove this provider organization name. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe it will take some time to reflect this one. Okay. Uh, so here we need to make one more change. Okay, so we'll go inside that one API collection and we have to add, uh, we have to make one entry that is this host name so how we'll do it this one in the drop down when you go here we have to select the host name okay instead uri we have to make one more entry host name the host name whatever host name we are using we have to mention that one okay so after applying this one you have to apply here okay and let me check if it will work or not okay Okay, here I need to pass some headers, the values. Okay, let me check that one. But our API is accessible now. Let me uh, get those values to get the token. Okay. Uh, so friends, the API is working fine now. Uh, send. Okay. Let me remove the provider organization name. Okay. So. Uh, just wait a minute so friends the API is working fine uh, 
let me remove the private organization name first okay okay and if i remove the catalog name as well it will work Okay, so I removed both uh, provider organization and the catalog name and it worked. Uh, let me show you the configuration one more time. So first we went to a pay connect in the sandbox catalog. Then we have to go to catalog settings. So in the catalog setting we went to a pay endpoints. And here we uh, we file legacy behavior and display vanity endpoint. So we made the entry here. After that, I made some uh, changes here. Uh, I updated like this. You want to access by with the sandbox, like with the lab and sandbox. So it will work for uh, all the URL, whatever you will mention here. So it's a page working fine here. We can see like with the welcome lab. Okay. And uh, with the catalog name also. Okay. Okay, so uh, here as we, I showed you like we have to mention the DNS name after that uh, if you want to omit the provider organization name we can just mention the catalog name and then the API path and the operations okay and if you want to just omit the catalog name along with the provider organization name so we can skip that one also okay so so by this way that you are a payroll is uh, very small okay is small and looks beautiful also so by this way like uh, if you don't want to disclose the catalog name and the provider organization so you can omit uh, the provider organization name and the catalog name so this is all about uh, this video thank you guys thank you guys for watching video thank you